Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Umbilical hernia repair, pediatrics, introduction. Hernias are common conditions that affect boys and girls of all ages. Your child's health care provider may have recommended a hernia operation. The decision whether or not to have this surgery is also yours. This program will help you understand better the benefits and risks of this surgery. It also talks about the symptoms and causes of umbilical hernias in children. Anatomy the stomach and intestines help digest and absorb the food we eat. The stomach and intestines are inside the abdomen. They are covered and protected by three layers. The first layer is a thin membrane called the peritoneum. The second is a wall made of many muscles. The third and last layer is the skin. Symptoms and their causes. If the muscles of the abdomen become weak, the intestines, along with their first covering, the peritoneum, can push through the weak spot. This feels like a bulge under the skin. This is called a hernia. There are three types of hernias, umbilical, groin, and incisional. This program describes the treatment of umbilical hernias. An umbilical hernia is a hernia that happens around the navel, which is commonly called the belly button. Although it is usually present at birth, it may not be a problem at that time. Sometimes it does not become a problem until a person gets older. The weakness in the muscles could be caused by lifting heavy objects. It could also be caused by gradual weakening of the muscles from continuous stress. Hernias tend to get larger with time. Hernias can be dangerous. Some of the structures inside the abdomen, such as the intestines, can get stuck or twisted inside the hernia and cut off their own blood supply. This is known as a strangulated hernia. This type of hernia could lead to the death of that part of the intestines and would require a more complex and riskier operation than the operation to repair the hernia in the first place. Surgery is the only definite way to correct the problem. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute, www.patient-education.com. Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Surgical Procedure Umbilical hernia repairs in children are usually done under general anesthesia. This depends on the size of the hernia and the age of the child. The procedure usually takes between a half hour and an hour. In the open operation, an incision is made over the hernia. In a laparoscopic surgery, the surgeon will make several small incisions and use a camera and other tools to repair the hernia. The contents of the hernia are pushed back into the abdomen. The muscles are sutured back together. If the defect is large and the muscles cannot be sutured together, your child's health care provider might choose to place a mesh to cover the defect. The surgeon then closes the skin. Risks and complications This surgery is safe, but there are some possible risks and complications. These are unlikely, but they are possible. You need to know about them just in case they happen. By being informed, you may be able to help your child's health care provider detect complications early. The risks and complications include those related to anesthesia and those related to any type of surgery. Risks of general anesthesia include nausea, vomiting, urinary retention, cut lips, chipped teeth, sore throat, headache. More serious risks of general anesthesia include heart attacks, strokes, pneumonia, 
Your anesthesiologist will discuss these risks with you and ask you if your child is allergic to certain medications. Some of the risks are seen in any type of surgery. These include 1. Infection. Infections can involve the abdominal incision. Treating infections may require antibiotics and possibly surgery to drain the infection. 2. Bleeding either during or after the operation. It might cause bluish discoloration of the skin. 3. Skin scars that may be painful or ugly. Other risks and complications are related specifically to this surgery. These are rare, but it is important to know about them. Structures in the abdomen could be damaged. The intestines could be perforated. Damage to these structures could lead to permanent damage and your child may need another operation. These are rare. In extremely rare cases, death may result from these complications. The hernia could happen again. If your child had a mesh put in during surgery and develops an infection, he or she might need to have the mesh removed to help clear the infection. After the surgery. After the operation is done, your child will be transferred to the recovery room and then to a regular room. Most patients go home the same day of the surgery. Some swelling around the incision and bluish discoloration is normal. To prevent the hernia from coming back, no heavy lifting, bending, or twisting is allowed for a few weeks. Make sure to contact your child's health care provider in case of any new symptoms, such as fever, severe abdominal pain, weakness, swelling, or infection. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Hernias are a common condition that affect people of all ages. If left untreated, they can cause severe pain and serious complications. Surgery is usually recommended to treat hernias. Umbilical hernia repairs in children are usually done under general anesthesia. One or several incisions are made over or near the hernia. The contents of the hernia are pushed back into the abdomen. The muscles are sutured back together. Hernia surgery is safe and effective. Risks and complications are rare. Knowing about them will help you and your child's healthcare provider detect and treat them early. Thank you for using Explain.